Hi, and welcome to our next presentation with Technion, presented by CEO Johan Stena. Myself, my name is Max Bacco, and I am an equity research analyst here with ABG within Industrials. And with that said, please go ahead with the presentation, Johan. Hello, thank you so much for having me today. Uh, I'm the CEO of Technion since 2009. Uh, I have probably one of the Johan, I think we lost the sound from your side. Could you try to say something? Yeah, I have a delay of approximately five, 10 seconds, which is okay. very hard to work with. Uh, I can hear you clear and loud now. So if you just try to go on with the, with oh, the sure. presentation. I will try, absolutely. Yes. Uh, I still, I still have a, a backlog of, of the sound coming back at me after like seven seconds or so. Is it something I can do to, to remove that? Or? Uh, do you have YouTube on on the background or something? much for having me today. I will try to describe a little bit about Technion. We are an uh, industrial group. Uh, we are growing primarily by acquiring uh, smaller industrial companies, uh, almost always driven by entrepreneurs, and we try to keep them on board as we become the new uh, owner of the company. Uh, we have, we have uh, a lot, we have taken a lot of influence from, from our big siblings on the on the stock uh, from the uh, Stockholm stock exchange, uh, such companies such as Lifco, uh, Lagerkrans, and uh, Adtech, uh, and we have been doing this since 2006. Uh, we very strongly believe in what we do. We have a lot of fun at work, and we uh, think there is so much more to be done. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, management team. And we are working very closely with our subsidiaries, and we have a yeah we we we're in it for the long run, and we are as as it feels just in the start of something big. Uh, with that said, we've been doing the same thing since 2006, which means perhaps I'm I have a very short memory. I don't know. Next slide, please. Uh, yeah, 2006 we founded this and. Uh, we uh, are today 17 different companies. Uh, actually, we are a few more companies, but, but we have them as result units. Uh, and we are divided into three different business areas. We mainly are uh, focusing on product delivery, where we deliver a product with a lot of know-how. Uh, the group is very decentralized, meaning that the uh, the subsidiary is working by itself. We're not trying to steer them in any direction. We are trying to help them and support them uh, from the mother company. We are also helping them within the board of that subsidiary, where we, uh, together with with the management of the of the company, are uh, deciding about the long term strategy for that business. Uh, we are approximately 280 coworkers today. Uh, constantly growing, of course. Uh, our main market is still Sweden, even though that we have business globally. Uh, we have uh, almost all of our companies in Sweden, and uh, we have the, a lot of that is due to the fact that we, when we started this, we wanted to work within the companies to learn uh, the business, learn, get to know the people and uh, really get to know the business. Uh, please 
give me the next slide. Uh, a little bit about where we are today. We are turning around uh, a little over uh, 700 million. We're trying to have 10% uh, uh, earnings from that. Uh, and uh, to, uh, during this year, we have we have acquired two very very good companies. One is a cutting metal company in Valdemarsvik, uh, and uh, they are manufacturing uh, really um, specific uh, parts for for big Swedish global industrial uh, customers. And then we acquired a smaller uh, specialized companies that manufacture uh, benches and, and cooling benches and, and heating benches for, for the professional kitchens in, in high-end restaurants and, and, uh, and uh, restaurants uh, and then hotel re uh, restaurants. Thank you so much. Next slide, please. Uh, we are we have all our subsidiaries divided into three business areas. Uh, a lot of them are in the business area niche, which the, a little bit because we we love the niche products, and uh, that is also where we think we have the best uh, offering towards our customers, where we where we also sell a lot of, of know-how and uh, application knowledge. We love to be in markets where there's a lot of regulation and where there's hard for any competitor to get in. Uh, we we like we love the unsexy stuff uh, where no one would where where no one would like to be. We will love we love to be there. Uh, we also have a business area called growth where we have companies that have the potential to become really big globally, and we also have an industrial area where where we have. Uh, a broad variety of different industrial producers, manufacturers, as you'd say. Please give us the next slide. Uh, the strategy for us is to, to let the subsidiaries be entrepreneurial driven. Uh, we, we have the demand that every subsidiary sh should be offering something unique to its customers and to its market. Uh, we strongly believe in long-term relationships with, bo with both suppliers and customers and, of course, with our co-workers, which are our most valuable asset. Uh, we, we believe that sustainable business, a sustainable business is a business that is easy to understand for all stakeholders, uh, that is always profitable and always have a good cash flow. Uh, we also try to make our workplaces uh, fun to be at and, and uh, to keep our coworkers proud of where they are employed. And we love genuine people. We love to be our best and uh, be as, as good as we can be. Please give us the next slide. Uh, when it comes to acquisition, which is our main, main focus here on, on the mother company, we are uh, constantly targeting uh, and approaching potential sellers of industrial companies. We, uh, we look at some different criteria that we would like to be fulfilled. It should be profitable and uh, it, should be, it should have a, a sales of approximately, it's pretty wide range for us, but if it's very niche, it could be as low as 20 million Swedish, but we look at companies that turn around approximately 100 and a little bit more. Uh, we're almost uh, only uh, doing business to business companies. Uh, it's very important for us that we understand the business. It shouldn't be complicated. It should be easy to describe. It should be easy for all involved to understand where, where who is earning money and why. Uh, we pay for these acquisitions with our own cash and with bank loans and we do it in a way that we pay approximately 70 percent of the of the price for the shares up front when we when we step into the company and then we do it on earnouts uh, performance earnouts uh, approximately over two years the rest of the of the payment and we try to to get our money back in within uh, cash money back in uh, five years. And uh, 
we are very, very, we are going very, um, we, we focus very much on the entrepreneur, on the person that, that we, that we both parties, both the seller and the buyer believe that we can work together because we try to keep the management on board uh, even after this two year period. And uh, normally we can do that because we are pretty fun to work with and we have a drive that we will constantly want to be better and, and uh, develop our, our, our companies. Next slide, please. As it is today, we um, historically I've been doing a lot of the acquisitions myself, the screening and and uh, finding new companies. Uh, since uh, over a half year now, we are three people doing this, meaning that we have a very good pipeline at the moment. Uh, most of the companies that we are talking to uh, or the prospects that we are talking to, we have found through our own scouting, cold calling more or less. And uh, But we are also have a constant intake from brokers uh, that we work very closely with. And uh, we see them as partners and, and uh, co-workers as well. And uh, the, during the last five years or so, since we've been doing this for a while, we also get calls from from uh, entrepreneurs that would like to sell their business to us because they have heard that we are a good taker of uh, industrial companies. We have today, we're, we're talking with approximately, constantly talking to approximately 10 companies uh, for buying them. And we are aiming for the, for the upcoming years to buy approximately five companies a year. Uh, that feels today like, like a doable target. Uh, after that, I guess we will accelerate. Thank you. Next slide. We try to keep everything simple. We like to earn money. Uh, we rather have a high bottom line than a high top line. We constantly striving towards higher margins. Uh, sustainable companies is what we believe in. Sustainable people and relations is what we believe in. Um, we we try to have as have as as uh, high cash flow as possible, and and from all the cash that we that we get into the to the company, we try to find good acquisitions uh, to to grow the company with. And um, yeah, we're in it for the long term. Next slide, please. Uh, we have a very, we have a very, very, very fantastic management team. Uh, we used to be the two, the two people in the middle for many, many years, Maria and myself. But since 2018, we have um, grown a little bit. So now we are more or less a, an, an, an entire army, uh, capable of doing almost anything, at least hard things. Uh, we, I'm very happy with this team, and perhaps we don't always look this happy as on the picture. Uh, because we discuss a lot and we never let anyone be less than their best, but uh, we have a lot of fun at work. Next slide, please. Uh, just to summarize everything, we are continuously growing, uh, primarily through acquiring very good industrial entrepreneurial driven uh, smaller companies. Uh, they are working in narrow niches where we can have uh, a good that, that where we can keep a very good customer uh, offer and long-term relationships. Uh, we, we believe in sustainable businesses where we always earn money, where we're always profitable. We strongly believe in the decentralized uh, uh, architecture where every subsidiary could stand on their own legs and just need support from the mother company. And the sound people, the people that love to do, be good and love to drive something to the future, those are the people that we would like to attract and that we would like to work with. Uh, we are in the beginning of building something huge. Next slide, please. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the presentation, Johan. And now over to some Q&A. Uh, as you mentioned during the presentation, you have made two acquisitions here to date, uh, Cutting Metal Works and Kemma Storsöksförsäljning. Could you tell us something more about the reasoning behind those two acquisitions and why those two companies fit into your uh, business group? 
Yeah, uh, they are a little bit different, those two companies. We both love them very much. Uh, one of them, CMW, Cutting Metal Works, we've been talking to them for a couple of years, uh, getting to know them. And um, finally, we decided that we should work today, together and we, we acquired the, the shares from the uh, more or less the founders uh, that were still working uh, within the company. One of them had reached the pension age and wanted to retire, and the other one would uh, uh, would like to work still uh, still be working. So Christy uh, is still there as the CEO and would like to continue so, but with new ownership. And we could uh, give them uh, stability, um, good uh, a good board of directors that could help them with the with the decisions for going forward. And they are in a in a position where they can. Where they can grow with their customers and with their uh, uh, existing business for for many many years. It feels like a very stable uh, company with very good people with a lot of knowledge in what they do. So that was an easy one. Uh, Kiama was something different. It uh, was a company that was not for sale. Uh, it was something that we more or less stumbled upon, and the owners, uh, father and son, both of them wanted more or less to retire. And we told them that you don't have to close the door and throw away the key and go home. Please let us help you to to revitalize what you have because you have built something fantastic. And now we're working together with them to revitalize the company. And um, we have a tremendous response from the customers, which really love that we are trying to put some fire in the into that company again. It's it's it's, re it's really fun. And and that's also a company that owns it owns its own brand or selling its products under its own brand, which is very very good for the future, of course. Okay, thank you. And as you mentioned, sometimes entrepreneurs approach you uh, in order to sell their business. Why do you think that business owners want to sell their business to you specifically? Uh, Oh, except for that we pay them money. <laughs> uh, I, th I think that one thing is that we've been work. we who approach them, we have worked in this type of companies ourselves. So we know, we can understand them. And, and they pretty, pretty soon they realize that we understand them. And uh, that w when, you, when you are an entrepreneur and, and you are building uh, your company throughout the decades, you are often very, very lonely. And and uh, when when you meet someone that realize or that understand that and also can offer them uh, a family now where they can continue doing what they love, but without the burden of, of providing for all of these employees and feeling the sole responsibility for all of these employees, they can get uh, uh, they they more or less get a new burst on doing more. So even that they perhaps believe that they would like to retire. We can almost always uh, show them that it that it's very fun to to stay on in some way anyway. Perhaps not as a CEO, but perhaps stay on with their closest client or stay on as a, a board member or something like that. So I think one why people like to sell to us is that we understand them and that we love them because these are the people that are building our country, and and uh, when we love them, it's easy for them to love us. I think it's as easy as that. Or as complicated, I don't know. <laughs> That's a very good answer. And uh, on to the next one. Um, with your strong balance sheet and low debt ratio, how much could you potentially add through additional acquisitions if we play with, uh, with the numbers? I think just to, to, to answer that uh, broadly, I think I think we will have. To, to, we're, we're working together with one of the big banks, uh, and uh, when it comes to acquisition, so we use our own cash and we loan some money from them. And as the, the partnership we have today will probably keep us uh, on on the rate of buying turnover of approximately 300 million per year for at least three or four years coming. Uh, and since we are acquiring companies that are cash uh, positive. We constantly increase our our own cash as well to, to acquire even more companies. So it's 
we we as more as the more we grow, the more we have the 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 possibility to buy to buy more companies as well because we are buying companies with with positive cash flows, good relationship with the bank. Um, yeah. Yeah, sounds like a very good business idea. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I think it's very important for us, of course, to be to to keep uh, to 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 don't don't have too much depth, of course. But mm. but as it is today, we have a lot of cash and and the depth is very low. So for the coming years, we we have um, a lot of good uh, uh, acquisitions to 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 do. Yeah, and on to the last question. Um, in your latest Q1 report. Uh, you stated that a lot, lack of raw materials and increasing raw material prices have affected your industry segment. Uh, have you seen any improvements in this area and how have you handled the situation? Yeah, we, we try to talk to both customers and to suppliers and, and do whatever we can to to handle this situation, but it it's... Um, it's both steel, it's constructional wood as well, uh, a lot of timber. Uh, the prices have increased enormously because of a lot of, of the Swedish timber is going on export today. And um, yeah, I, we, we will have to struggle with this for, for a long time, I guess, before we will see any normalization. But I mean, we, uh, we have good, as, as we value always, a uh, good relationship with both customers and, and uh, suppliers. We try to help each other out and then we know that we are depending on each other. So we're, we're all in, the, in, in this together. Yeah, I think that was all from me. Um, thank you very much for joining us here today, Johan. And good luck in the future. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye.